Hi guys, Mulos here. So today is Friday the 7th of April 2023 and it's a public holiday. It's Easter Friday and uh, I decided to make a video showing you how to use yellow card in 2023. So just bear in mind that today is a holiday so some functionality may be restricted by the holiday itself. I'm going to show you using the website and I'll also show you using the app. Yellow card is one of the few where I prefer the app to the website. In most cases, I prefer websites to apps, but uh, for yellow card, the app has some functionality that the website doesn't have. I'll show in this video. So first things first, it's opening and logging into your yellow card. I'll do both on the app and on the website. So logging in is just a question of opening the app. Then you just need to put in your password. Then as you're putting in your password, there's this icon here. If you click on it, it will unhide the password so that you can check whether you're entering the correct password or not. Then you click on it again, it will hide your password. So in case you are not too sure whether you entered in the correct password, you can always check with the eye icon here. Click on next. Then here you need to put in a pin. You'll, you'll have set up a four digit pin for logging in and authorizing transactions. Once you've put in your four digit pin, you can confirm. Now, sometimes it gives an error message when you're trying to log in. If that happens and you're not able to log in using the correct email, I mean the correct password and correct uh, pin, you can simply write to yellow card uh, support at yellowcard.io. They do respond to messages rather fast. Okay, so once you have uh, logged in, this is what you are going to find. This is your your screen on the app. Uh, by default, you'll have Zambian Quacha, Bitcoin, USDT. You could have other cryptos. I mean, Yellowcard does have support for other cryptos now. In my case, I've got an Ethereum and USDC as well now when it comes to logging in on the website it's a similar process here you just simply come to login and uh, once you once you go to login something i forgot to mention that yellow card is country locked so if you are zambian you can only use zambian yellow card if you are kenyan you can only use kenyan yellow card if you are nigeria you can only use nigerian yellow card you cannot change the the country code here so if you don't have a Zambian phone number and you're trying to log into yellow card, you cannot log into your Nigerian yellow card or Kenyan yellow card or South African yellow card or Malawian yellow card in Zambia. It's uh, restricted to your specific country. And then also yellow card does not support VPNs. If it finds you are using a VPN, it will most likely block your account or log you out of your account. So you can only use your Zambian yellow card account while in zambia so if you are going to travel and you've got crypto in your yellow card account you're traveling out of the country and you've got crypto in your yellow card account you need to transfer that crypto out of your yellow card account otherwise you won't be able to access it outside the country then logging in you just put in your password and like in the app if you click on the eye icon here it can unhide your password clicking it again will hide your password then you can just log in and put in your pin and uh, here again, if you try to log in and it's refusing uh, both the correct password and uh, PIN, you can simply write to yellowcard, support at yellowcard.io, and they will attend to your issue. Then you can log in with PIN. And uh, this is how it looks when you log in on the website. You see on the app, when you log in, it shows you your Quacha balance here, and then it breaks down uh, by... Uh, by Quacha, Bitcoin, USDT, and whichever other cryptos you have. Whereas on the website, it shows you basically your USD equivalent, and then it breaks them down according to these. You'll see here that I am not seeing USDC, but I can just click here on see all. And when I click on see all, it's going to bring me to this screen where I have to show all the wallets that I actually have balance in. There's a bit of a difference between the website and the app. All right, so now uh, one of the most common issues which is there on yellow card is people depositing uh, money into their account. So if you click on the deposit icon here, so it gives you two options. You can deposit by bank transfer and you can deposit by mobile money. So let me deposit some by mobile money. I remember that today is a public holiday, so banks uh, are not working normally. Uh, then another thing to note, when you're depositing by mobile money, you can only deposit by the 
phone number linked to your yellow card account. So for some of us who've got an Airtel number, MTN number, Zamto number, it's my MTN number that is linked to my yellow card account. So that's the one which I am recommended to use. I shouldn't use the other phones that are not connected to my yellow card. So I can only use the one linked, which is my MTN. Now let me do a deposit by mobile money. So I'll just simply come here to mobile money. I'll click it. Uh, there's something you should also note. There's a 2% surcharge when depositing by mobile money. So this will affect your numbers. So the 2% is charged by the platform that uh, facilitates mobile money payments to yellow card so yellow card doesn't charge for deposits this two percent is the platform that they use to enable mobile money deposits so now let me click on uh, mobile money then here the amount i'm depositing is a 150 kwacha so the minimum you can deposit is a hundred kwacha maximum is a two million i'll click on next then here you see that uh, your phone number is there and uh, you can't change it so you can't change your phone number it's only the one that is linked to your yellow card you also can't change okay you can try to change the the network here but even if you change the network to airtel you still can't change the phone number there so what it is is that only the phone number linked to your yellow card is the one you can use to make this deposit so it says here please contact support if you need to uh, update your phone number so you can actually update phone numbers uh, but in this case mine is the mtn i'll click on next so to deposit 150 there's going to be a transaction fee of three kwacha, which is 2% of that. And I'll receive 147 kwacha. So it deducts from the amount that you are depositing. Then I'll click on next. Okay, so thanks for your time. Uh, if you made a deposit, you need you okay so and anyway, basically it's just telling that you're going to receive the authorization prompt so this authorization prompt comes and you just have to enter in your pin so just make sure you enter in the correct pin and you can send then you can confirm the transaction option one and uh so it's here you have uh, approved debit of kwacha 150 uh, initiated by by smart pay power pay and uh you've even got a ref so you can say okay and you understand when you come back to your yellow card the deposit Deposit is not instant. So you see here that I do have a dep an amount of 3501 and uh, I'm just waiting for a deposit to reflect, which would be any time from now. Okay, so while we're waiting for those funds to reflect, before I even show the other features, let me just emphasize a few things. One, Yellow Card is not an investment platform. It's a platform where you can buy, sell, send, receive, trade cryptocurrencies in Zambia or in the countries where they operate. It's not a platform where you are going to be investing. You know, you'll be seeing all sorts of charts and the likes and have investing options. Uh, usually if somebody contacts you and says they want to help you invest in crypto using yellow card just know that those are either scammers or if they're genuine i mean but most likely they're scammers then another thing is that uh, yellow card representatives do not help you use the app they only help you if you've got issues logging in uh, sending funds receiving funds or those kind of things those technical issues like any normal help desk does if somebody says they are going to manage your yellow card account and they ask you for your password or your login credentials just know that you are most likely being scammed yellow card officials will never ask you for your password or your login credentials and they'll never manage your yellow card account or wallets for you uh, there are a lot of scammers out there who ask you for your yellow card credentials um, they'll tell you they're representing yellow card and they're going to be investing in crypto for you using yellow card those are just scammers so anyways like i said yellow card allows you to buy crypto in order to buy crypto you need to have kwacha in your account and to get kwacha the same way that i have done by depositing kwacha into your account and here on the sell you can sell crypto for kwacha so right now i've got some usdc i'll click on that why i like the app you've got this option here of mac it simplifies things if you want to sell the maximum uh, in a particular crypto you can just click on mac then uh, you can click on next or oh, you you're able to see the rate sorry let me just go back you're able to see the rate here it's currently at uh, crypto to kwacha the dollar rate is like 20.1 that's for selling your usdc to kwacha then i'll click on next then here it's going to show me that i'm going to receive i'm selling 4.36 usdc 
and I'm going to receive 87.67 kwacha. So I'll click on confirm, enter in my pin, and then I'll confirm. And here my USDC is sold, so I'll go done. So once I've once I'm done, you see here that my Zambian kwacha balance has gone up, and uh, my USDC balance has gone down. So when you click on sell, you are simply selling your crypto for kwacha, and this is the one to use. Now, if you want to buy crypto using the buy option here, you can click on buy. So let's say I want to buy uh, BTC because once in a while I do have demand for BTC I can click on I'll, I'll buy USDC so here uh, there's a function in yellow card that uh, a lot of people don't know about uh, so I'll show you here you can use the yellow card app as a crypto calculator so let's say you wanted to know how much 100 kwacha will give you in terms of uh, USDC or Bitcoin if you pick USDC USDT put in 100 kwacha you can click on this up and down arrow here it will show you that this is 4.5 dollars 4.5 USDC okay so you are able to use the calculator to see yeah, even when you are doing the opposite transaction like let's say you want to sell crypto uh, let's say USDC or USDT and you want to know like okay how much crypto do I need to sell to get 100 kwacha clicking the up and down arrows will show you that that's five dollars five usdt and uh this amount in kwacha so yellow card has in the app has a built-in calculator functionality it's the same with bitcoin you know nobody knows how to calculate bitcoin in their heads it's it's really really cumbersome so if you want to buy bitcoin for 100 kwacha you just put in here 100 kwacha you are able to see how much it is in dollars how much it is in uh, btc and uh back into kwacha and if you want to sell uh bitcoin for 100 kwacha you're able to see how much it is in dollars how much it is in btc and how much it is in kwacha again so this calculator functionality is very very important if uh, you need to pay somebody five dollars you need to pay somebody five dollars worth of bitcoin you can either pull out your calculator and do manual calculations you know the uh, cross multiply and divide or you can just use the yellow card calculator and you'll be able to see what five dollars is in btc and pay accordingly okay so now here you see that i've got uh, 26 uh, 26.5 uh, uh, usdt so one of the things that i can do is i can uh, send this usdt let me send it to binance okay so here i've come in binance let me just go here to wallets so there's this much uh, in uh, crypto in my uh, binance there's uh, this much in my fiat and spot this much in my funding so i'm go i want to deposit some crypto here it's a crypto deposit and i am going to deposit usdt i'm going to uh, yellow card does usdt trc20 wallet addresses so i'm going to copy this uh, wallet address okay i made a small mistake i'm supposed to use the app let me just go back to the app the binance app so here in the binance app i'm going to do a deposit or rather i'm going to go to my wallet at the bottom here i'm going to click on deposit i'm going to pick usdt i'm going to choose uh, trc20 wallet type and i'm going to copy my wallet address here so once I've copied that, I'm going to yellow card. Then I'm here, I'm going to pick uh, USDT. And here I'm going to send. I'm going to send the maximum. So with the app, you're able to send uh, the maximum using the app. Uh, it will just it will deduct the gas fee from here. But I think when using the website, sometimes you have to reduce this uh, a little bit so that the, the amount can go to give you an error message and all. So let me click on next. I'm sending via USDT wallet. It's telling me it has to be a TRC20 wallet. I'm going to paste my wallet address here. I'll confirm that. I'll enter in my PIN and I'll, com I'll confirm that again. Okay, so I've sent uh, 25.60 USDT to my Binance wallet. So you see that it has deducted the gas fee from the amount I'm sending. Now, when you're using the website, sometimes it just gives, it goes all crazy. It doesn't deduct and then it will, it will just keep failing uh, and you won't know why, but it's because it's not deducting the gas fee. So I'll say done. Okay, so my balance has gone down because of the 
amount that I sent uh, to Binance. But you see here on the Zambian Quatch, I think it has gone up a bit. Let's just check what that is. Okay, and uh, it has gone up because of this 150 Quatch, which uh, has come in via MTN Money. So with mobile money deposit feature, it works, I think, 24-7. The only issue is that there's a 2% charge on the deposit. Then another thing to note is that if you are depositing big amounts, you need to use bank. So here under deposit, there's bank transfer. Uh, you can deposit any amount. Let's say, let's say a thousand. Okay, then you click on next. So it's going to tell you here that uh, the one thousand, the transaction fee is zero. You receive uh, this much. And then if you confirm amount, it's going to give you yellow card uh, deposit uh, details. So here, I'm going to give you your unique code. So basically, your code is your phone number linked to your yellow card. There's a slight error in this. Uh, most banks don't accept reference which has uh, a symbol so a plus is considered a symbol so if you try to enter plus 260 as your reference you'll find that your your bank might reject that so you can either start as just 260 or even just the 09 just your phone number starting from the zero or just from the 26 because most banks will not accept a plus uh, in the reference field so you need to make sure you put the your phone number linked to your yellow card as your reference don't put any random phone number because some people have multiple phone numbers so make sure you put the one which is actually linked to your yellow card then you also have to put in uh, the yellow card account number with standby so this is yellow cards account number don't put your bank account number then here the bank you're sending to standby um, they're going to put in the beneficiary name as yellow card uh, this yellow card details the amount you are transferring is the exact amount that you have indicated in uh, the app itself and uh, that's about it so transaction description again this is a reference which you need to put in when you're doing the transfer so you can use any zambian bank to make this transfer uh, so the beauty with bank deposits is that you can deposit any amount okay so like i've said earlier just be mindful that yellow card it's a platform for you yourself personally to transact crypto you can send to all manner of platforms as long as the you are sending to the correct crypto type and you can also receive from all manner of platforms as long as you're receiving the correct crypto type the most popular crypto is usdt uh, this one is because it's one to one to the dollar and also because the gas fees for usdt trc20 are very very low so just make sure that if you are sending or receiving usdt that you are sending uh, TRC20 type and uh, if you are receiving you are receiving USDT TRC20 type. Uh, sending wrong type of crypto to a wrong wallet will result in you permanently losing your crypto. Um, it's a decentralized system so if you send to a wrong address the mistake is on your part and it will cost you because impossible to retrieve crypto sent to a wrong wallet or wrong wallet type and the other thing with yellow card is that you're able to see the price of crypto so let's say you go to btc and you want to buy you are able to see the the price of uh, btc in uh, zambian kwacha so one btc is equal to six hundred and eighteen thousand zero forty two kwacha and uh, like i said with the calculator here you know, you, you, you can just put in amounts if you want to buy for 100,000. How much are you going, is it going to cost you? You get $4,506 uh, worth of Bitcoin at the current rate. You'll get this much worth of Bitcoin at the current rate. So this is some of the functionality that you don't find in many other crypto platforms, but you do find in Yellow Card. Yellow Card is priced uh, specifically for the local market, which is the Zambian market. And all. Okay, so Yellow Card still remains my number one crypto platform as a user in Zambia. And one of the reasons for that is that it's the only platform that allows me to easily buy, sell, send, receive, or trade crypto as a Zambian user. Yes, you can use platforms like Binance, you can use platforms like CEX, Uphold, Coinbase, Paxfu, and all these others. So Yellow Card does allow, does have uh, transparency in the pricing and in the quotes, you're able to see how much you'd get for selling your crypto and how much you'd get uh, when buying your crypto so it's got very very transparent pricing there are no hidden fees that other platforms will slap you with when you're transacting so generally yellow card still remains my favorite crypto platform 
uh, do let me know in the comment section if you use yellow card uh, whether you enjoy using it don't enjoy using it you like about it what you don't like about it and you can see whether they will continue to improve uh, the app because i personally do have been using it for a couple of years and uh, i have worked with them before um, so this but this is still an impartial review and tutorial um, but anyway let me see in the comment section what your thoughts on it are and we'll keep the conversation going thanks for watching guys mulos bye